everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. I am currently backpacking through South America together with my boyfriend Rul and for the past few days we've been in a town or city in Peru known as Paracas and Paracas is basically located between the desert and the sea. So we arrived here like two days ago but on the day when we traveled to Paracas I was actually quite sick. I woke up with a flu and a fever really randomly. I think it was due to the air conditioning at the previous hostel yeah I am feeling already a little bit better yesterday I was still not feeling very well so honestly we didn't do much we walked around a little bit we visited the beach but I didn't swim or anything and we enjoyed some ice cream today we are doing a tour here in Paracas we are doing a tour to the Paracas National Reserve but our day had a bit of a quick start because we were told that the tour starts at 10 45 so we were expecting to be picked up at 10 45 but we got picked up at 9.45 and you can guess if we were prepared for that no it within five minutes had to try and get ourselves ready and go and now we got told that the tour doesn't start until an hour so now we just have an hour to chill here but um yeah <laughs> a bit of a weird start to the tour but oh well but yeah today we're going to the Paracas National Reserve and it's supposed to be very very beautiful so I'm super excited for that one hour later we have been picked up with the bus um, it's a bit of a confusing tour so far. We were told that everything is included, but then they were saying you have to pay this and this, and then we said, but everything was supposed to be included, and then they checked, I'm like, oh, it is included, but we don't have anything to prove for that it is included now when we're on the bus. I don't know, it's really confusing, and it has a bit of a yeah, confusing start to it all together, but let's hope it's a nice tour. At least we have been picked up now. Our tour's first stop was Playa de Roja, meaning the red beach. We first got to see it from above at a viewpoint and after up closer up. The tour guide told us that swimming at this beach is prohibited as it is not safe due to its high waves. We have now arrived to the beach. Uh, it's called La Minia and apparently it's the most popular beach here in Paracas. And for the next hour, we're gonna be relaxing and swimming here. That's cold. <laughs> Honestly speaking, I enjoyed the tour, but it did feel a bit rushed. For example, I would have wished to have more time at the beach. If I'd visit again, I'd rather do it independently by renting a scooter, for example. Our last stop was a place where you could have lunch. It was definitely a bit of a touristic spot, but surprisingly the food was really really good and the lunch views were unbeatable.
Good morning, it is now the next day and today we're about to go on another tour. We basically paid a package deal for both of the tours together. So yesterday we did the Paracas National Reserve and today we're doing a boat tour to or like around an island and instead of having to pay separately for both of these tours we paid a combined promo price. So it was 87 solas per person for both of the tours combined which I thought was a pretty good deal. We're soon about to get Get picked up. Hopefully today we're supposed to see a bunch of animals, things like sea lions and penguins and stuff, but it is also at the moment uh, the year of El Nino, so apparently this might affect it a little bit and there might be less animals than usual, but yeah, as long as I would see at least one sea lion and one penguin, I would be very happy, so fingers crossed. This whole port for getting on the boat is super chaotic. I'm glad we're with a tour company because it's chaos. We are now on the boat and we were told to come in the very, very front seat because apparently we're the only English speaking people on this boat tour. Let the boat tour begin. I really, really hope we'll be able to see lots of animals. That would be so much fun. The boat tour was really nice and we saw a lot of sea lions so we got very lucky which was very very nice. We've now come for some lunch to a place called Frusiones. So let's hope the food is good here. Holy macaroni, look at the size of the smoothie. It's so heavy, it's like hard to hold on to. Looks so good. Oh, it's really good. Well, our time in Paracas is coming to an end and uh, we are soon about to jump on a bus and head towards Lima, so the capital of Peru, which means that I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye!